The steamer didn't work. It burned a little bit. But the mother's got a little charred from the pan. Danny, they're burnt. I'm already freaking about the scalloped potatoes, and then I find out that the malas aren't working, so right now it's just a lot, a lot of stress. Is that all we have? Yeah. I don't feel like peeling so fast anymore. We have a lot to do. I immediately start working on the turkey. Then we need to get started on the green sauce for the tamales. I got it. No, I don't. No, I don't got it. <laughs> While Danny's working on the tamales, I'm gonna be working on the potatoes and the zucchini bread. Did you have the vanilla extract? No. No? Ah, I need to get it done right now. Aloha squad. Back in the old days, how would they cook the lao lao? Normally, it's done in the underground oven or the emu, but we don't have eight hours. So I'm gonna be braising the pork until it is tender, and then we're gonna wrap it in Swiss chard and steam it for another hour. For the pork belly, I'm gonna be putting in the pressure cooker with a little bit of herbs, some soy sauce to give the pork some flavor. With the lao lao, you know, it's decadent, it's rich, but we need to add a hint of acidity to it. If we just create a chili pepper water to pour it over the lao lao, I think it'd be a nice touch. I mean, we'll have to test how hot these peppers are. Well, you need to get that braising, so move a little quickly on that. Hey, guys. Hi, chefs. Hi, hi, hi. hi. We have the winningest chef of Top Chef, Melissa King. The one hi, everyone. I think I am more excited than anyone in the kitchen right now. She's truly my all-time favorite. I love her story. I love her style. Hey, Ocean and JD. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> chef Melissa. I'm like so, I'm nervous right now. Yeah. I'm Chef Melissa. What are you guys cooking up here? We wanted to do kind of a traditional dishes from Hawaii. So our first dish that we're making is a lao lao. Normally the butterfish goes butter in the lao lao. Yeah. But today we want to add some texture, so we're going to deep fry the cod. Have you served it this way before, Ocean? I have never served it this way before. Good, I love right. this. is going to be taking a risk here. Both my mom and dad taught us how to make lao lao, so we hope we make them proud. Looking forward to this. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, you guys. Annika Anu. Hi. What are you guys making? So we're going back to our roots of our Indian culture. Yes. Great. I'm making jackfruit curry, but to bring the Thanksgiving element, I'm also going to add some butternut squash. So you're like, you're cooking your dish and then you're bringing in Thanksgiving into the dish because <laughs> yeah. you have to. Yeah. Like yeah. a true immigrant. I yeah. love it. That's what we cook too. That. <laughs> Being immigrants, we did not celebrate Thanksgiving originally when we came here, but as kids grew up, we wanted them to know what it is all about. Last three, four years, Anika has taken over. She decides the menu and she she does everything. Great, I'm Mom. very excited about this. Awesome. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Good luck, so guys. Much. Sounds Thank great. You. We got 15 minutes left. Let's go. Faster, faster, faster. It needs to be high, Delilah. We're never going to cook this. I know. Get a pot of boiling water. We're going to boil the potatoes. We're not going to have time to bake in the oven. Delilah and Danny, they have a lot on their plate right now. They have four different dishes when they only needed to make two. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Delilah, come on. They're running around, different things are on the stove. They're looking like crazy. Delilah, we're spending too much time on that. We still need to get the okay, chorizo. Okay, Danny. In restaurant wars, Eva and Jen got sent home for making something extra. But I really want to incorporate these little things that are always at our Thanksgiving table. Are the potatoes done? No. These need to go in the oven next step. I'm done with the naan, Mom. Okay, good. The chicken is done, Anika. Let's start plating. Ocean, how's the fish? Good. It's on the speed rack. What? The potatoes are not cooked. They're not? There are five minutes left, and I'm realizing that the potatoes need more than five minutes to bake. Are the tamales good? Oh, yeah. We need to get those. The steamer didn't work. They burned a little bit. The tamales got a little charred from the pan. Danny, they're burnt. I'm already freaking about the scalloped potatoes, and then I find out that the malas aren't working, so right now it's just a lot, a lot of stress. Is that all we have? Yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay. They just need to cool down. Presentation of the tamales is a little bit ugly. It's okay. We'll serve them. We just have to plate it as is. Put the droppers on the plate. Potatoes. They're not cooked all the way through, but we decided to present them because our zucchini bread and champurado is not a full dish. Just put it on the plate! Where? Right there! Smells good! Hands up! Ocean, step away from the blowtorch.
Okay, let's go and serve the families. This is the most exciting Thanksgiving dinner I've ever had. Annika and Anu, what did you make for the Thanksgiving dinner? We wanted to go back to our roots and show you guys what we're made of. So we made tandoori chicken. We also have a mint sauce to go with it. And then jackfruit and butternut squash curry. Served it with some naan that has garlic and cilantro on it. Ah, nice touch. Thank you so much, Annika and Anu. Thank you. Ocean and JD. We wanted to take you back home to our roots. So what we did for our first dish is a lao lao, which is a pork belly wrapped in a leaf. On top of that, we got our cured cod, and then in the little eyedroppers, a chili pepper water, which is our style of a hot sauce. For our second dish, we did a sweet bread and macadamia nut stuffing. With it is a turkey giblet gravy. Did you have fun cooking this, or was it extra pressure to have dad around? I had fun today, but there was always that little bit of pressure that knowing my dad was here. No pressure. Are you proud? I'm very proud of them. Awesome. You guys did a great job. Thank you. Danny and Delilah. Today we made turkey tamales with a green gravy, and we also made kind of like a shepherd's pie, but with sausage and scalloped potatoes. And then just for extra, we made champurado and zucchini muffins. Our Mexican hot chocolate is almost like a porridge, but chocolatey. What kind of sweetening did you use in it? Well, we used a little bit of vanilla cookies, and my grandma is the one that taught us. Grandma style. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. This is literally the best oh food ever. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I have to push it away. <laughs> oh. Great job, everyone. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Happy